I'm just gonna say it. I honestly feel like junk today and days like this are gonna happen. I feel like no matter what I do today, I just feel bleh. If you think about it, so there's 365 days in a year, unless it's leap year, which it is, and so it's 366, whoop de doo But if you think about it in terms of statistics, we have this like 100% sliding scale, meaning 1% of your days are gonna be like super awesome. So like three to four days out of the year are gonna be your top 1% of the, like your days and your moods and all the awesomeness. And then you're gonna have the bottom 1%, the days that are truly awful and we all have them. And I don't think this is one of those days, to be honest, I think I'm probably bottom five or 10%. So even that, like thinking about it in those terms of 36-ish days out of the year, 37, somewhere around there, are going to be your bottom 10% days, whether it's you're just not feeling motivated or productive or your mood sucks, everybody around you sucks. <laughs> if I'm being honest, I just felt that way. I'm like, why does everybody freaking suck the last 24 hours? And like, no, really they don't. It's just some of it is like me taking it that way. Um, and I even tried to do that thing where it's like, if you feel like you hate the world or something, eat something. So of course, you know, eat something. That didn't really do anything. If you feel the world hates you, which I was kind of starting to feel that way, you know, go to bed, take a nap, whatever it is, and you know, you'll feel better. And so I went to bed, woke up this morning, and I'm still kind of like, ugh. I just don't wanna, <laughs> if I'm being honest. <sighs> It's okay to have these days and go, you know what, I don't need to beat myself up for the fact that I'm not that motivated, I'm not super productive today, it's not going how I want, I'm not getting as much work done as I want, it's currently lunchtime, so like, chill if you're the work from home police. But anyway, yeah. It's more about giving yourself that grace and go, you know what, maybe tomorrow's not gonna be a bottom 10 or five or 1% day. Maybe tomorrow's gonna be middle of the road and I'm gonna feel better. Maybe, you know, I'll get this out of my system in a day or two and then I'll be back to rock star top 10% or even top 15% days. And like I said, it's just been a collection of dumb stuff. Like I even, just something stupid, like I made mashed potatoes and they didn't turn out right, so I ended up putting them in the trash because like, I just, I was like, D I'm not gonna be able to save these. I, I don't know what I did wrong, I just, whatever. And of course, at one point the pot boiled, boiled over and this and that and this and that, and, and like just, just one of those days where like, there's nothing super banner about it other than just, it's, a collection of suck. And I know I've had a couple things on my mind too, so what if instead of just sitting here, it's a little bit after 12.30 in the afternoon, which means I've got, you know, 20, 25 minutes left to salvage my lunch and, you know, have something to eat that wasn't messed up mashed potatoes. My work bag has become like a thorn in my side of just I keep shoving stuff in there and then it turns into a black hole. And then like one morning I stopped at the store before work and I'm like, okay, and oh no, I forgot my wallet. I can't find it. Turns out it was in my work bag the whole time and just hiding under stuff. Or I think I put it in the wrong pocket. But even when I looked in that pocket thinking, what if I put it in here? It just got buried with all this junk. So I'm going to go ahead, grab something to eat and finish out my work day. So even if I'm slow and sucky, I'm slow and sucky today. Tomorrow's a new day. So I'm gonna do that, finish out my work day, and then we'll go ahead and tackle that work bag. So if you also have a work bag, a purse, something that you also want to go through, clean out, or wherever you're working on in your home, that's totally fine too, obviously. So we'll hang out and I'll share with you a couple of things that's been on my mind that I debated if I was going to share, but then I realized if I don't share them, like, we're all still going to keep shoving these things down and not really 
talk about the things that bother us and get them off our chest and be able to move forward and do like better, great things. I know I'm really not feeling like myself at all because once I was done eating before I was ready to log back in, the mail came and so I thought this is a great opportunity. Go outside, get the mail, make sure my shoes are off and get some grounding in. And I don't know if you know about this, but this is actually a practice that is good for the earth to help draw out those negative ions in your body. And so even though I took my time with that, it just really, I don't want to say it didn't do anything, but normally I feel like immediately better and this time I just didn't. So I guess that means it's just time to talk about some of the stuff that's been weighing me down recently. And also I figured we could go through my work backpack and I'm going to do this the old fashioned way. The way that is going to make some people's like brains just explode. But anyway, uh, I did take my computer out of here so like we wouldn't have to worry about this. But truly doing this the old fashioned way I think is just going to be the only way to get through this. And the only difference is these two zippered side pockets I am not going to go through. Um, because I know exactly what's in them. So this side is spare socks if I ever need dry socks for some reason. This side is emergency underwear. I don't think that needs an explanation. I just think it's always good to have a pair or two just in case. <laughs> so uh, especially coming off like being sick and you're coughing your brains out and then you know what happens. So doing a good old fashioned go through my backpack. This is completely like, this has been very frustrating for me, like trying to manage like stuff in here, losing stuff in here constantly. Even like, there was one morning I was running early for work, so I'm like, I'm gonna stop into Mark's. I thought I forgot my wallet. Turns out, for some reason, I put it in this big back pocket with my computer, which I don't know that I've ever done in my life. And there was still so much crap in here. I just didn't see it with all the stuff. Um, so let me make sure everything really has come out. Um, like completely, this is just whatever's in here. The only thing I edited out was taking out my um, work laptop and a couple of identifying papers for work. So, um, because they were right by my computer. So if I blur anything out, <laughs> uh, that is why, because I didn't really look. Okay, oh, hairband, cool. So, <laughs> I'm already feeling better because the cats are just like having a blast with this. And so that's kind of cool and fun. Anyway, so the other thing I've been, oh, missed, missed some stuff. The other thing I've been struggling with is if I should reward myself by keeping this nice and tidy with a new backpack or if a new backpack will help me to stay more organized. Um, this is north of 15 years old. When did I buy this? I think I started pharmacy tech classes in like... 2007 or 8 somewhere around there yeah because yeah it was like around 2007 so this has stood the test of time it's also my go-to carry-on because of all the compartments and it fits even if i stuff the gills out of it it fits perfectly in the overhead bin and the only thing is it is getting so worn i have duct taped I don't know if you can even tell, like I've duct taped the bottom, but even that's starting to have issues because some of it's lifting up and then it gets stuff gooey and gummy from the adhesive. So like, yeah, but anyway, <laughs> look at this, <laughs> the pile of stuff. <laughs> oh my gosh. I need another camera angle. <laughs> Hang on. I'm already feeling better. I, 
Why did I put this off? But maybe the, it's that was the universe. They, the universe knew I was gonna need this day to help like break through junk. This is like the fun that they are having right now. Um, <laughs> oh gosh. Like seriously, like junk mail, all of it. Those Amazon like printout, like return things, like stuff I've been like, where the heck did it go? They're just having a blast. One of the other main offenders I was struggling with are all these little medicine bottles from the last time I was sick that I didn't put all the stuff away. <laughs> and I didn't want, like, I already have a decent amount of stuff. Whoops, sorry. I didn't mean to steer you. Um, I do keep a decent amount of cold medicine at work. So this just got really out of control and excessive and this one empty? Yeah, because I remember picking one of these up and being concerned like maybe it leaked everywhere. So crochet hook that I was like, where the heck did it go? Found it. Like I would not have thought to look there because my backpack is normally not where I keep crochet hooks. And I know I'm sure like I let someone at work try this style of crochet hook with, you know, this ergonomic handle and then just never put it away. So you know what? Do you want to play with that? Here. Of course, I like to throw it for them to play. And no, they want to play with stuff that I'm not giving them. So, <laughs> oh gosh. They're just having the time of their lives. We're still going to do the classic stuff. Look for trash and only trash. Like, this is going to be easy. Junk mail. Stuff that, like, ibuprofen that I don't know how old it is because I put it in this little container. Like, that's just trash. Um, so anyhow, ew, this is, all right, um, oh, actually this, some of this actually needs to be shredded, so I'm going to do a shred pile, okay, hi, 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 can I have that, thanks, thanks for trying to help, I should have known this was going to turn into this, <laughs> But they seemed like they were going to wind down for nap time. But that's what I get for just dumping a heap of junk everywhere. So. Well, this is where this went. Like, I, <laughs> this is why sometimes dumping stuff all the way out is actually kind of helpful. Because it's like a treasure trove of stuff that you're like, where the heck did I it go? I'm losing my mind, I swear. So. Oh my goodness. All right. Maybe. Do you want a pen? Quinn has a pen. Do you want a pen? So, oh, 100% forgot that was in there. <laughs> Add that to the treasure pile. Um, so these often I think are just good for like dirty dishes and stuff from lunch, but I don't need 17 bags or however many are in here. Cool yarn from project. So I'm already kind of feeling better that I'm pushing through and doing something even as small as a backpack but like this has been weighing on me because it just keeps getting pushed down the list of stuff to do. Um, and it's really not even that difficult because it's like old receipts I don't need anymore. Bills that I've already probably paid online and I swear I go paperless and they still send me crap. All right. So what's been on my mind has been a few things, actually. Um, several month, months ago. Well, okay. I guess I need to back up some more on this. A little over a year ago, someone has decided that he was going to re-add me to social networks. And I'm like, well, that's strange but I'm stupid I'll give him one last chance after you know how many years since I was 16 or 17 that we've been off and on and he's been stringing me along and I'm still stupid even in my 40s that I'm like oh he re-added me that must mean something I know I don't have a very young audience but I do see my demographics, and some of you are younger. So use me as a precautionary tale, because, like, 
just, just don't. Guys don't really mess around. They either want to be with you or they really don't. And so anyway, I was stupid and I'm like, but it's just like fake book. So, um, go ahead and add him and it's fine. And so of course, some time goes by and apparently like added me to show off his current, like his latest, whatever. I don't know his woman. I don't, and I'm not mad at her. I'm actually, I'm actually a little concerned for her because when you know someone for a course of time for that long, you know, you know things. Um, we've always had a very strong friendship, so I am sad that that part is gone. And it's okay to be sad that that part is gone. And it's okay to be sad that I'm the one that let this go and I walked out. Like, this is... <laughs> this is not the first time I've walked away. Um, this is the last time to the extent that, uh, recently was an intern's last day and I had already deleted him and was like, why did you do this to just show off like you're getting ready to get engaged and apparently get your marriage license very shortly after. So like, I mean, if it's really the right person for him deep down, I'm happy for him and I can recognize that this is how it's meant to be, even if it hurts me right now. And I also don't have to watch this happen. We live in such a digital age where everyone wants to show off what's, what they're doing, what's, what's going on, the best part of their And it's his right to do so, and it's my right to not be connected to that. So even though I did this thing where I recently unfriended him, and I still can't believe that I walked away again. I can't believe I added him last year. Like, that was the dumbest part after... Um, because I, the last time I walked away was 2019, and I even was very clear about... We need to not even hang out, not, not have contact, anything. So, of course, when he reached out and was trying to reconnect, of course, that's where my brain was like, oh, he's finally, like, coming around. And I thought I could handle if that wasn't the case. Um, but this is how we learn. <laughs> 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 oh goodness anyway <laughs> so she's still not used to the tripod because I don't bring out this tripod very often oh another crochet hook I don't like this one as much so that's probably why I didn't miss it <sighs> some crochet patterns Wow, look at me go. I had already unfriended him and I went to the intern and I was like, okay, go to my Facebook, search for this person and block because I don't know why I didn't block to begin with. It just, I was just like, ah, delete and just didn't think of it until I was like, oh wait, we're actually in a few um, local Facebook groups together. And so like, it's just better if, if I just don't see anything. Um, cause wouldn't that be horrible if I was in one of the discussion groups and they're like, yeah, it's the best wedding vendor for blah, blah, blah. Like, I don't need that. I don't. Um, this one's totally empty. This one, I mean, there's not a lot in it except that this stuff is a little on the pricier side and the expiration is good. This is nearly full. This is plenty, plenty of time. So now that I've gotten that out... <laughs> I didn't think I was, I really thought I had gone enough time between um, this happening and me sitting down and talking about this stuff. I have no idea whose memory that is. Uh, okay. 
So these can be shred. Actually, I should shred that. If I don't know who this is, I should probably shred it. Um, not that I should put any phone number in like a regular trash bag. So anyway, excuse me while I interrupt myself for just a moment. One of the things that I did to help heal after this period of time, what was weighing on my heart and my soul and some of the heaviness that I was feeling is I went to my favorite audiobook platform, which is Audible. And thank you so much, Audible, for partnering with me today and offering you a 30-day free trial. And even if you've already used one before, go ahead and give it a try because they've been known to go ahead and give you a second trial just as a thank you for checking them out. I know there are other free ones out there, but if you're on a waiting list and it's 50 people long and it's two weeks to three weeks per checkout, you could be waiting two or almost three years. And I've gotten even some books on super discount if I didn't want to wait for my next credit for as low as four dollars. The two books that I listened to during this time were A Rise and Shine by Alison Golden. She has a way of really bringing some Christian perspective to a lot of the heaviness that goes on in the world in very difficult situations. I also listened to Micro Joys, which is a very good way also to just remind yourself to just look for those little small things and not necessarily think of it in the toxic positivity sense of like, well, at least it's not this. It's not that at all. It is just looking for those little glimmers of joy and hope to keep you going through a tough time. I have done so much personal development inside my vehicle just driving to work or running errands go ahead and obviously there will be a link down in the description below no additional coupon code is needed just use that link you get 30 days free what do you have to lose except for those 30 days thank you so much to audible and let's get right back into the video then recently if you've been around you know that my brother has moved back to ohio with his family and that's awesome it, it's going to be awesome long term um I didn't bring tissues because I didn't expect to need tissues and like this bottomless bag of nonsense and like no even like little tissue packs. Okay, that's fascinating <laughs> to, for me <laughs> to figure out who I am as a person. Oh, oh, mm. are there any left of those? Because like that needs to be trash. Those aren't even the same. All right. Yeah, those, these aren't even the same. And these dates are good. But it's one of those weird things where you don't really, you might kind of make jokes about your childhood or things that sort of you remember. And like, so this brought up a lot and a lot because, now, and I say this from a place of like, oh, hey, I, there's a piece I was looking for. Um... <laughs> My brother and I do really get along and like even in our early 20s before he went into the military and as I was coming out, we were like, you know, freaking fracked. If you want to find one of us, start looking for the other one. We ran the same friend groups, including who I was just talking about. Um, so also not super helpful, right? And which I don't, you know, they're not like exactly best friends or anything, especially now that a long time has gone by um and you know people drift and <laughs> I feel like I know why I did this but like why didn't I keep it at work that's fun another pile for my pile of treasures and socks that were in my side pocket so like I don't even know if these are they smell like pennies <laughs> so like like they're clean but like there was some change down there so now it just smells like pennies and needs to be washed these all need to be washed let's be honest you know because you got to have the fingerless gloves for in the office when it's like summertime and freezing but they always come with these i don't need these why am i just trash them it's fine <laughs> um so like it's exciting and everyone's excited but like then it brought up the whole, I don't even want to say competition. I just, I don't think I really realized how much I felt this as a child and when I was younger until I was older and especially now. Because I felt like with his moving back, that it was the second coming of I don't know, something. And like, it's great to be excited, especially that you're 
you know, he's the oldest and he's a boy. And so, yes, great that my parents and, you know, extended family were excited that he's moving back to Ohio. Like, you should be, like, excited about that. But it was like, that was all they could talk about for months. And, like, I don't know. I just... I, I didn't realize I had jealousy issues, really. Um, you know, I, don't, I did want to try the sample, but, like, I feel like it's already, like, chunky and drying up. Crap. All right. Um, these I do want to keep. Uh, what are the dates on these? Oh, yeah, I got plenty of time on those. It just was, like, like, we're adults and you're still... Like the, the favor, the favor was definitely there. And especially with my mom and my brothers, like I've always felt a little bit like chopped liver because I wasn't a boy. My mom is a classic boy mom through and through. Like, I mean, if you ask her, like she was a tomboy, you know, she didn't even get her ears pierced until I was born. Like, cause she just felt like she should do that. So like, I never had, like, I don't understand stuff like, sisterhood and like that mother-daughter relationship for the most part because like it was just very different than what you know my peers were experiencing and how other women kind of are brought up typically because and I say typically because like obviously there are other women like myself who were brought up by boy moms like that was her calling in life and like, cool, like, sorry, I'm a girl. <laughs> and, like, so that's been hard for me a lot of times, too, because, like, I do like feminine things. And I do like that, but I still feel uncomfortable with it because, like, I don't know. It's a whole thing. Anyway, <laughs> so bringing this back to the story of why I was feeling crappy is that... How old is this? Oh, probably not terribly. It doesn't smell good anymore. Um, so recently she was in the hospital. And so here's the thing. I, and she's fine. She's clearly out of the hospital by now and doing okay. Or I wouldn't be having this conversation even at all. I probably just wouldn't. So she is a heavy smoker breathing issues. She always has issues with electrolytes, potassium, stuff like that. So just, you know, this cycles every few years. So I wasn't totally surprised. I was okay that I wasn't her first call, especially because like I have been the primary for my parents who are divorced. So they're not even each other's primaries. So like running after both of them, for the last 20 something years. I do feel like, yes, this is my brother's turn. He's got a family, his wife, like they can help with things. And, and it's not to diminish the fact that they have kids or anything. Hey, what are you doing? Play with something else, please. Thanks. Um, like I know that also takes work, but they're tweens and well, a tween and a teen. So like they're pretty self-sufficient at this point. And I, th I think, like, I still had a lot of that guilt that I didn't just drop everything and go to the hospital. You know, I work and I'm this, I'm doing this all by myself, right? So, and it was a few days of work where, like, I just had a lot going on. Now, if my mom didn't have my uncle and my brother to reach out to, that's a different story. I still would have dropped everything. Work would have figured it out and it would have been fine. But the truth of the matter is there were other people that could pitch in finally. And so they did. And I still feel guilty about it. And what really started to bother me was whenever I tried to reach out directly to my mom, I barely got response. And I only knew her status by way of the group text from my uncle and my brother chiming in of like, and my other brother actually, I think at one point chimed in of like where everything was going on. And so like, 
Like, I don't, I don't know. Um, and I try to be cognizant of the fact, I guess I could at least clean this out before I put this in my backpack. Um, you know, when I'm in the hospital, I don't feel my best. I don't want people to make a fuss about me. And sort of, I know my mom is the same way, but at least even if I would have gotten like a return text, like, cause I knew she, I could tell she put me immediately into voicemail at one point. Just say, hey, just not feeling up to talking. I'll be fine. Thanks. Or thanks for reaching out. I just don't feel like talking. Would have been fine too. So obviously everything's okay now. And it's fine. I can split my scrunchies up between work and home. I don't need all of them to be at work in my work bag. So I guess that's really about it. <laughs> it's just they all piled up like at the same time because you know it's the classic. When it rains it pours. Um, my wallet is elsewhere. I need to wrap this up because I'm running out of battery. I can tell. <laughs> so or at least storage. I'm running out of storage. Um, I'm going on a trip soon so I should probably have my extra computer charger. Um, and some other extra chargers at hand so those can go back in. That's a good backup to have. My essential oil, like, no, okay. Um, so that's kind of what's been going on. Um, that's probably also why I was a little quieter, um, in my community and I wasn't putting out shorts and stuff. And then also... Someone said something unkind, um, and it, I've hidden the comment, but they said something unkind on my latest short, and normally I can handle it very well, and I thought, like, even with the stuff with my mom going on, I was handling things well, until, like, it set me over the edge. It was a straw that broke the camel's back, proverbially, and I don't use this, I don't think I like this, hmm, but it's good for notions, I think. I think I'll use this for notions and not for like pill organizing actually. Um, so it set me over the edge and that's where I was like, no, really I'm not okay. So then luckily I was able to do the work from home day. And then of course, Kesa was having a day where he was whining and looking for Gypsy still, um, even though it's been 11 months ish. Yeah. 11 months without, no, 10 months without Gypsy, he was still going room to room, crying, looking, and like, he loves Madeline, but Gypsy, I think he really had a soft spot for Gypsy, and obviously that was my soul cat, so like, then it just got me in a, a sense, and so then I had to take a break, and then fin just, you know, tack on time to the rest of my day. I'm a responsible human and luckily like my managers and my super like everyone is fine when these times happen so that's where that went <laughs> I'm doing a lot of that's where that went and it some of this is stuff like I did legitimately want in here and they just got buried in all the other junk and receipts and papers that do not belong um so yeah, I, and then my extra stuff, backups, always need to have hair tie backups. Um, so yeah, it's just been a lot. It's just been a very heavy week and a half or two weeks that just kind of sucked. And I didn't think I would, I really didn't think I was going to share this with you necessarily because like I have been on the upswing. But then I'm like, well, that's exactly why, because that's something that I struggle with is when I see others that I connect with very well here on YouTube or whatever, and I'm using them for inspiration, but then they're like, oh, everything's rainbows and butterflies and like unicorn farts, or I don't know. What is that? Cotton candy? I don't know. Um, <laughs> so... I really think this is what is needed is this connection of like, yes, I can still be on the upswing and things by and large are going so much better, but also run into times like this where I feel crappy and then I let dishes go and become such an issue that I like made myself a deal 
Like I had to like negotiate with myself to do dishes. <laughs> Let's just say that. Um, so more treasures. Um, <laughs> so yeah, so this has been good. And I managed to do this before my storage ran out. And how old are these? I feel like these are not that old. Yep, they're not that old. Um, and yay. So like, that really wasn't that bad. I mean, other than I stopped to talk a million times. So, um, because that's what we do. We talk, we get through these things together. This is life. But yeah, so like this is like so much more reasonable and I can't see this. I'll have to take other shots. Um, my patterns that I can bring home. This was for, this is for commission. Um, I just, you know, thought I was going to work on this at work. Um, this, I wasn't getting my printer to connect for some reason. And so like, obviously gonna do these in my cat colors cause why not? Um, <laughs> and so I just asked them like, Hey, do you guys mind if I print out like literally what three pages? So they let me print some stuff, random treasures to put away, stuff to go back in the medicine cabinet, a few things to be shredded, some coins to put back. Oh, oh these are her, uh, business cards I need for work actually. So progress, even when you feel like crap, is progress and this is at least going to function better I do feel like I feel like I should at least very highly consider the backpacks that are in my save for later on Amazon because like even the structure of this isn't keep like these pockets are like flopping into the main pocket like the structure of this bag is gone after 17 years strange but true um and she's still a good backpack. There's still a place for her. So like what I would do with this backpack then is turn this into my emergency roadside backpack, maybe put a change of clothes, a blanket, cause I've been there. Like I've been stuck at the side of the road and had to wait on AAA for like four hours. It happens. So yeah. Um, still gonna keep extra socks, even though I don't wear socks very often. And obviously underwear. <laughs> and these are clean underwear that I do know. Um, let me get my pen back from them playing. And yeah. So thanks for hanging out with me and listening to me when I was feeling pretty crummy. And hopefully you're not feeling crummy, but if you are, maybe this is what we needed. Maybe we needed to like chat this out together. Sometimes you just need someone outside of whatever's going on or just to get it off your chest. And yeah, so thank you so much for hanging out with me and walking with me through this. And I can't wait to visit with you in the next one. Bye. Now I need to really wash my hands because now they just feel like pennies.